You might be thinking, I don't want to put my parent or loved one in a residential assisted living home or an assisted living facility. I want them to have in-home care. Well, let's talk about it. In-home care is incredibly expensive, but back up. What even is in-home care? That's when your loved one stays in their own home where they live and you're going to hire someone to come in and care for your loved one one-on-one -on -one for as many hours a day as you need. Well, if someone needs 24-7 assisted living care, that means that you're paying for 24 hours a day times 30 days in a month. It adds up really quick considering that the national average for in-home care rates at $27 an hour right now. So 24 times 27 times 30, that's almost $19,000 a month, plus the rent or mortgage or the lease, whatever it is, plus the food, the activities, any other fees, tick, 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 this adds up real quick. Now I know what you might be thinking, well, I don't need my loved one to have 24 seven care. I'll take nights and weekends. I just need someone to watch them while I'm at work. Well, that's still going to run you about four or $5,000 a month. Plus the mortgage lease, you know, the activities, the cable, the food, everything that you're, you know, you're paying there. Plus now you just gave up your nights and weekends. You just gave up going to your kid's soccer game or your daughter's ballet practice, PTO meetings, book clubs, wine night, poker night. I mean, whatever it is, say goodbye, say sayonara, because it's not happening anymore. When a senior needs 24 seven care as deemed by a doctor, it's not like, hey, Grandma Joe, get in the car. We're going to Johnny's basketball game. No. It's painful for them to get up and move and getting in and out of the car and being doted all over the town is not really something that they're interested in anymore. So I know many of you think that in-home care is a better option and maybe it is, but is it an affordable option? Absolutely not. So one-on-one -on -one care can be an incredible thing for those who can afford it. And yes, you might be thinking, I've heard of people who get it for 14 bucks an hour. Okay. I'll just say this, you get what you pay for. So please be careful because if the national average is $27 an hour, I don't want your loved one, anything bad happening to them. So make sure that you do your background checks and your research. If someone is grossly undercharging, you know, care costs money for someone to be with you. One-on-one -on -one is going to cost you a pretty penny. You're getting an elite service and it should cost a lot of money. These caregivers deserve to be paid well. And many of them work for agencies. And I understand that an agency gets a cut along the way. And if you work with one direct, maybe they will be charging you less, but make sure that you're protecting your loved one, your senior, make sure that you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's because I know I've heard far too many horror stories and I would never want that to happen to a senior or anyone watching this video who has a loved one, you know, who needs assisted living care. At the end of the day, residential assisted living is sometimes a better option because yes, it's a group home. Yes, it's group care, but those costs, they're shared costs, right? They're shared fees with all the other people in the home. And a four to one ratio of residents to caregivers is really not that bad, especially considering a big box facility is usually a 15 to one or up from there. So one-on-one, -on -one, of course, it's incredible, but it's going to cost you a pretty penny.